Who's raiding me? Daltos is raiding me. How you doing? Thank you very much. You see me about to try and conquer Greece as Italy. And we're already failing. Alright. Bam! Good morning, ladies and gents. It's me, yeah man, Alex the Rambler, and joining me today is, of course, El Chonka, containing the lifeblood of caffeine. Oh. I need to harness mm. the power mm. of the chunk. Thank you very much, Robert Pants, for six months. Well, anyway, we're on Hearts of Iron 4. Bam. We've got an Italy rework now. An Italy rework. And what's it called? Because I've forgotten. Uh, La Vittoria El Nostra. So that's like victory or something. Oh, so we've got... Oh. As usual, we have an undeveloped industry in Italy. Sato Maggiore Generale. We're, we're hampered by a weak, inefficient command structure. Uh, we've got the Soldier King, Victor Emmanuel. Boom. We've got an absolute monarchy. Lessons from the desert. And we've got this bad boy. Okay, so these are perilous times for the Kingdom of Italy and the rest of Europe. Only those with their heads in the sand would fail to see the gathering storm. As the beloved deuce of this great nation, is he beloved? The king is not convinced that war is in our best interest. Okay, we can choose the course of action for the Kingdom of Italy wisely. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right. So, let's see. What national focus are... Oh, 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 oh. Look at this bad boy. We can end the dictatorship straight away and go absolute monarchy. Or we can keep the deuce, right? I will let the start of this playthrough be decided by Twitch chat. So if you're watching on YouTube, look at what you could influence in future videos. Let us do a poll. Okay, so um, of course the Roman Empire is in the lead as soon as we begin. <laughs> Yeah, this is a disaster save in, in in the making here, isn't it? Trying to get me to faithfully restore the Roman Empire. What would I personally like to... Do you know what? I'll, I, I won't even interfere with what you're going to pick. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, my stream is role-playing Italy. Absolutely. Was the Roman Empire winning? All right. The Roman Empire won. Very well. We will go for the Roman Empire. Better Roman than... Italian. So we just need to conquer Abyssinia, right? And then we can start doing Italy first, I think. We get the triumph of fascism, then we get the Roman Union. Trains run on time. Impossible. Always the bloody Roman oh, Empire. Hey, man. I didn't pick this one. Y'all did. Now, what route do I want to go down as Italy? Heavy ships? Forget about it. We're going naval bombers and subs, baby. Uh, we'll get some artillery being produced as well. Forget about light tanks. Can I get naval bombers? Yes, there we go. Now for the army! Pronto, let's see. Oh, wow, we've got new templates, you say? Are those axe infantry? Black shirts. Oh, okay. Pronto, signore. Do not mock the accent, Alex. Do not mock the accent. You have spent time in Italy before. It's a lovely place. It's a magical place, we're on our way there. With pasta and its millions, all in one country. It's called Italy. Well, that was pretty good on the fly. Anyone remember Toys R Us? They're still open in Canada. <laughs> it's one of the better places to buy uh, trading cards from in Canada, actually. Just so you know. Just throwing that out there. All right, here we go. Thrust! Oh, we'll just flank that bad boy. Ah! Oh! Before I add them then. Alright, well, force them back. Push them back from whence they came. <laughs> the King Emperor and the founder of the Empire. The King shall henceforth be known as the Emperor of Abyssinia. I will please the King. How did he win? It's almost like I know how to play the game. Shocking. Yeah, so look, I've done one great victory for Italy. I'm sure the rest of my uh, time here is is probably going to go quite disastrously. So I'm just setting your expectations up to be low right now. Is historical AI off? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, no. Well, I believe I may have uh, f***ed up here. I've got the conquest of Abyssinia. Now we'll do Italy first. We'll create the faction Pact of Blood. And Adolf Hitler gains nationalistic warmonger. Cool. We'll never play second fiddle to Hitler. Yes! Teutonic interference with Italy never ends well. Uh, a Mediterranean Entente or revisit the Rome Protocols. Yash. The growth of Germany must be curtailed. <laughs> well, 
I think I know what's going to happen quite early on here. Oh, I can't be bothered to do anything about this. Let what happens happen. It already looks like the nationalists are dead. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll send, I'll send a couple of divisions for a little bit of uh, army XP. Off they go. Oh, Rhineland has happened. We're in the axis of Rome now, though. So, bam, they're in it. We're already in the axis of Rome. <laughs> they had no choice. They joined. What else can they do? I'll try and align Bulgaria as well. Oh, f*** off. Oh, this hurts. What happened here? What? I'm not sending Spain any more volunteers after that. No, they're on their own. I'm out. <laughs> Let it all crumble. Let it all crumble. Don't care anymore. Don't care. You want my air force? You don't deserve my air force. Well, that's going really great. Hell, I can't believe I lost uh, troops on this failed experiment. Shall I start gobbling? I don't think they're guaranteed, are they? Oh, f*** off. Okay, Greece, Greece, is, Greece is for grabs. <laughs> yes. You will experience the power of the Italian forces. <laughs> there we go. Greece is not guaranteed by nobody. No, 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 sir. They are uh, ready for conquest. Yes, there will be a chance for industrial isolation after they have been conquered. Who's raiding me? Daltos is raiding me. How you doing? Thank you very much. You see me about to try and conquer Greece as Italy in 1937. Because that's the kind of conqueror I am. And we're already failing. Hello, it's me, Alex, uh, in the middle of the video. So uh, I tried streaming. This was yesterday. The, the start of the footage of the video. Uh, I had three blue screens in an hour, so I thought, oh, you know, forget it. I'll just record this uh, now, which is, I'm now recording this a day after that failed stream. So let's go back to Italy. All right. Uh, what I was about to do was to do an invasion of Greece, I believe. Yes. Oh man, uh, that that stream was. I was so pumped to stream, and then and then my computer just decided to be like, no. Sacre bleu. No. But I think we should be okay to do this invasion of Greece. Uh, who? Oh, we took the port. We haven't taken this one, though. So let's pin. And then the rest can walk up here. Oh, wow. Well, we actually... That was a successful landing for the Italians. I am... Sh shot. Let's take Corfu. Lads night out. We who wants to help? Hungary wants to help. Do I want your help? No. Not overly. Why is the supply so terrible, I hear you say? Oh, because we have one supply. Huh. Oh, and our convoys are getting sunk. Well, let's see if they can hold while we get some, uh... While I try and naval invade from another point. Because at the moment, this seems pretty horrid. I expected to have more than one supply here. I now have supply here. Pourquoi? Never mind, my divisions are still trash, so... They can't beat the- Oh! I'm role-playing Mussolini well today, aren't I? Let's try and invade Athens before we get... Oh, they're just, they're just completely dead, aren't they? How many dead Italians is that? Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Does, is there a port in Corinthos? There's not. Whoops. I'll just walk into Athens, though. So these brave 50,000 Italians are uh, going to go down as heroes. <laughs> Unless we can save them. <gasps> we can link up. Oh my oh my god. It's a possibility. Hold. Hold. Oh, we linked up! They can escape! We've taken Athens. It's all going fine now. It's all it's all hunky dory. <laughs> Has anyone ever decided to develop Italian heavy tank divisions? Because I think we're gonna do that today. Okay, well now the encircled have become the encircly. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to crush them before I conquer them. Oh, we got encircled again. Uh, oh, well, never mind. I will just take all states. Bam. And it's over. Is Yugoslavia still guaranteed? Yeah, they're all guaranteeing each other. It sucks. Such a weird faction. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of this. Woo! Until Germany starts going for uh, the old Anschluss, in which case I will probably try and support Austria if they decide to put up a fight. They might just decide to be gobbled, so it almost seems like a bit of a 
pointless faction in a way. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it won't be. Maybe they'll prove themselves competent. Or I'll prove ourselves competent. It's always a toss-up. Okay. That's not concerning at all. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go right ahead. I would like to take Yugoslavia. However, I think, yes, France is guaranteeing Yugoslavia. I'm just going to see how things go for the next year or so. Who wants to join? Bulgaria. Oh. Sure. Well, now I'm like a little green blob. It's interesting. Like, uh, it, this is so different recording when 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 I'm not live streaming. Um, where I started this scenario, kind of being egged on by chat, and now I'm just being responsible, just being alone in a room by myself. It's a different experience. <laughs> At least I haven't had a crash yet, though, so we've got that going for me, which is nice. So if the Allies aren't going to form, because I I think where they've gone... Yeah, they couldn't have done Steady As She Goes, right? So they must have done the King's Party. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I should strike at Yugoslavia now, then. Take out France and Yugoslavia in one fell swoop. Oh, Italy is so vulnerable to frickin' naval invasions. Help me, please. Oh, and Greece. I've got to worry about Greece now, too. Uh, forget about Africa. Wait, what are my divisions like? Oh, they're terrible. Oh, these are bad. No wonder I've been having trouble. I have l no offensive divisions. Huh. I have no idea if this actually declares war uh, on them. Or, like, are they getting justified on? They're not. Everyone's seeking cooperation, whereas I'm just... Oh! That's ambitious. I have not seen... <laughs> no, I don't want you in the faction, Portugal. You're on your own there, mate. It does nothing. Oh, that f <laughs> the focus does nothing except add world tension. What an absolute tease. Oh, do behave. What utter tripe is that? Uh, I'm actually really triggered at that. Uh, just extra world tension. Just, just because I don't like them. It's flawed. Ah, we do have the war goal now. Okay, so let's risk having a war with France. Oh, it's Czechoslovakia and Romania. So I just have to not call in my allies until they're in position. Pronto all'azione. Pronto Lazioni. We certainly will be doing this pronto. We're already going to lose that bad boy, but that was expected. Here, we shall push. They don't even have all their tiles covered. Is anyone joining? They all guaranteed them, but no one jo- Oh, baby. Bam. Okay, well, this is going to go very nicely for me then. Did we actually overrun them? We overran them! <laughs> Oh my gosh, my infantry encircle people. Wow, maybe I am competent. Let's march on to Belgrade. Yes, pour through the gap. Encircle all of them. Oh my gosh. Please, I hope you have equipment. My army needs equipment. Well, this is going nicely. Okay. Well, I'll take out France first, then I'll go after the Pact of Blood, I guess. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt. But yes, I think Romania is guaranteed by France. So maybe this time they'll actually do something. Oh. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Let's tackle the barbarian threat rather than bothering... Yeah. Uh, I'll leave France out of it. I don't know what they're going to... They might be go going communist. Oh, my Jeez, days. Let's begin to brick it, uh, shall we? I am not looking forward to this one. Well, let's call in... Oh, I shouldn't have called in Austria. I will... I'll call in everyone. Oh, my gosh. Maybe... Maybe the li we could be the little miners that could. Am I already losing? Really? I would have thought they put up a better job. Oh, they are starting to put up a better job. Okay, I need to crush Romania soon so I can redivert all of my army to Germany. We are being naval invaded, of course. Uh, so why don't we do the old convoy raiding in the Aegean because they're not going to like that. Let's reinforce the line, because that's not going great. I don't want Austria to capitulate. How close are they? Ugh, quite. Okay. I made a mistake by calling them in, I think. 
I thought I honestly had enough to hold the Germans, but uh, apparently I don't. They are attacking aggressively, despite having aerial superiority too. That's that's less than fun. Where is the Austrian army, and why aren't they helping me with this? Please? Please help me. What I need is for Germany to do some, you know, warmongering. Hello? Oh yeah, slaughter them. Like, the naval exchanges are, are rather nice. Eight destroyers to a few fighters or, or bombers, you know. It's noish. Oh my gosh, we actually still hold Vienna. Hilarious. British Malaya capitulated. From what? <laughs> oh, is Japan at war with them? They are! <laughs> and they're at war, but they're at war. Is China at... China is at war with Japan, but they're also at war with Germany too. This is a mess. Please, Romania, just capitulate. It's okay. It's okay. You've done what you needed to do. You've done a good job. Meanwhile, I'm desperately trying to hold on to Vienna. And I could really do with some extra divisions. Do I have to take every bloody town? Oh, if I just... I just need to take Kludge. Or Brazov, maybe. Brazov. Fall to me. Romania declared war on the Soviet Union. Praise be. Great Britain has joined the German Reich as our enemy in the German-Soviet war. What? Okay, so this- oh, the Comintern is at war with these guys. Oh, fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Our faction's looking all right, though. We've got a nice chonk. Um, but yeah, let's let's see if we can get uh, <laughs> France into this, too. So I'm going to go to war with Germany, France, and the UK, but we'll have a Comintern on our side, so pray. <sighs> our first heavy tonk. Yeesh. France has joined the Pact of Blood. Good. Everything's coming into fruition. Are they already trying to break through my forts? Surely we'll be able to hold that with our tank, right? I need to get these out now. Heavy tanks in the mountains. Try and move me now. Git. I do need your tanks down here, though. Maybe just forget about the proper Alps. Just the lower, just the lower bits. Because I don't think they, they can pierce me, can they? So they're attacking from multiple directions. The enemy has aerial superiority. Uh... Huh. So I'm pretty confident they can't pierce my heavy tanks. In fact, I'm very confident about that because they keep cycle charging them and nothing's happening. So I'm having a great time against France. <laughs> How are they doing against Spain, though? Because that's the... Uh... Huh. Not doing amazingly. I am going to naval invade uh, Marseille and uh, Toulon for giggles. All right, let's see if the French are defending their ports, are they? No. No, they're not. So if only I had some divisions to actually uh, seize upon this and, and encircle them all, which I, I, I'm I not really in that position. Maybe if I send in the heavy tonks, because so far the, the French aren't reacting. I am confusion. Would you like to avoid an encirclement? Too late, assholes. Well, it appears they took notice. So uh, I'm going to get my tanks to say goodbye. Yes, they started paying a lot of attention. <laughs> so, I'm in a bit of a pickle, where I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, is the Commonwealth of Nations on my side? They are! Oh boy, so it's like the world versus <laughs> the three big boys. Wow. Okay, let's see how the Africans can perform in... Sorry, let's see how the Italians can perform in Africa. <laughs> when I actually call them in. Uh... I don't imagine we'll achieve much, but we'll give it we'll give it the good old ramble a try. Let's call to arms. Da -da 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 -da. And then we go for the bathroom blitz with infantry, because that's all I can afford. But it appears so can the British. And we're moving in against the French here. Lovely stuff. You'd love to see it. Thank you. Push through El Alamein, hopefully. We don't have aerial superiority, but luckily they don't have any troops. Let's try and help out our uh, our allies down south. I can't really let Spain fall. All right, well, never mind. Would you please do something, Poland? That would make me so happy. Oh, the Germans encircle themselves. Please kill them. Oh my gosh. Encircle troops just... They should melt. Please melt. <laughs> Oh, okay, fine. Forget it. Forget it. You're falling back. The people in Sharm El Sheikh will live somehow. That's BS, man. Are they getting pushed back here? Where did my eyes go? They were streaming up that flat. They were streaming down here. Where? Yeah. So ha there we go. Encircle the French. Take back everything we've lost. Including your equipment, which you weren't actually declared for. Oh. 
anti common turn pact. Okay. But look, more French encircled. How's it going over here? Fine! This is going smoother than I expected. I thought that France would put up a bit more of a. a fight. Hello? I imagine they'll land more troops and then I'll get pushed back again and. We'll just go back and forth for the whole damn war. If I were the French, I probably would give up down here. But then, but I'm saying this as I'll probably get wrecked soon. Not really much I can do to help Spain. Let's send the big bobs over. Let's send old Messi. Yes. Ride like the wind, big boys. Well, that was a short pointless advance that has achieved nothing for the campaign objectives. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I think I've taken on more than I might have been able to chew. Have I created my own disaster? We'll see. Difficult when Germany won't go to war with Poland. How do you negate that? Okay, two divisions on hills against five heavy tanks and an infantry division. Oh my gosh, could I actually... Oh! They're all gonna die. Well, this is nice. I've sort of saved Spain a little bit. Oh, are you kidding me? Did they actually break out? No, they're not. They're, 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 they're trapped. That 14 units is trapped. Oh my god. Yes. That's sweet. Sweet like chocolate, boy. Like chocolate. Oh! Oh! I, thought, I just thought to myself, can I do that? Yes. How are they not taking attrition? Hello? Well, I guess I'll keep troops down there and send the tanks down to try and help out in uh, Portugal, I guess. I can't believe they're not taking attrition. I am kind of triggered by that. Do you know, I believe my tanks can attack quite nicely. There we are. Keep going. Or am I about to get encircled here? Of course there's six Dutch divisions there. Of course there is. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I have no idea how Portugal is still alive. And Spain for this matter. It's getting pretty dicey. Oh thank gosh. What? What? Sorry, you join the Commonwealth of Nations and then you go to war with Mexico. Is that it? Join the war against the UK, please, United States. Oh! Is that it? Is that the one? That will be a nice boon. I'm going to abandon my defences here because I don't think they're going to naval invade me. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and save them. I really don't want to let Spain fall. Like, I'm committing way too much here, but it is costing our opponents a lot to continue holding here too. Let's see if this works any better. Let's try and take back Lisbon. Oh my gosh, the British! Where, where, where are all of their forces? Bloody hell. France still had their disjointed government. Then They still have their disjointed government. What the heck? <laughs> uh, okay, well there's a chance I could probably do a long-ass naval invasion of France, maybe. But with what though? Should we, should we train a load of marines? Here we go. Like, you'd think I'd be able to take this tile fairly easily, right? No, because the Germans just have dumb stats. I'm just bitter now. Oh, never mind, we don't have aerial superiority anyway. Oh, no. Why would they do that? Oh, that's irritating. Why? But now I'll have to use my marines for the uh, defense of the realm. I think we could have all foreseen that happening, couldn't we, lads? Luckily, our marines will get there. And then I think we'll try and maybe take Istanbul and just hold. Because I don't think they fought this through very well. Oh, we're actually overrunning the Turkish troops. Okay. I imagine the Soviets are <laughs> charging in too. Wow. That was a really dumb choice for Turkey. They should have joined me. What's up with that, mate? I think that'll probably be enough to hold Istanbul. Uh, the rest of you, you're going on an adventure. It's not going to be a very fun one. But it's going to be an adventure nonetheless. Oh, and then the Turkish fleets just died. Brilliant. Good. <laughs> what is it costing them? Everything. Is the naval invasion happening? No. So I have superiority in the channel. I just don't in the Bay of Biscay. And I'm a bit confused how I get that. What are you doing? Sir, maybe that'll do it? Am I just trying to beat them here? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, balls. They committed their fleet in the Bay of Biscay. Like one of the only regions I don't think I can get... It's frustrating you can't use an airfield, even though you have military access. Yeah, our navy just got obliterated. It got caught and then obliterated. Yep. Yep. Well, the naval invasion of France probably won't happen down there. Okay, good to know, good to know. That was a f waste. It's frustrating that, um, this... So you have to defeat Germany, France, and Great Britain in order to do the triumph of fascism and then go down and do, like, the Roman stuff. I don't know that it's worth it. <laughs>
honestly. All right, I'm going to do something different instead. I'm going to take the supply away from uh, the enemy in these regions and just hopefully suffocate their entire force. <laughs> do behave. Wait, where did they go? I was going for Lisbon first, though, right? Hello? Oh, they got they got freaking trapped in there. Oh, they landed! They landed! They landed! They landed, they landed. <laughs> Mess up their front lines a little bit. Take the airfield. Come on now. Move. Why am I so low on supply? Eight supply. Eight supply. I mean, really? Nine supply. So taking a port got me an extra. Oh, one supply. I hate this. End me. <laughs> How many troops? Spain joined the Commonwealth of Nations. Oh, come on. At least I linked up my forces, though, so that's nice, at least. I'm sorry? Spain just declared war at me? You. Us. Holes. So now I'm going to be at war with the Commonwealth of Nations. I'm going to be at war with the US. Okay. I'm rage quitting. I cannot be asked. I'll do behave. The audacity of this. The absolute audacity. I mean, that army's all dead now. I'm going to lose in Africa too. My navy's dead. What did I do to Spain? Well... I'm just going to call it quits because this ended up being, like my stream, an absolute mess. Uh, I don't see this ending ever and I'm not willing to sink another six hours into this. <laughs> I think that's how long it would take for me to finish this poxy ass scenario. So that was the mod. Um, it seems like it has promise. However, having this kind of cut off from you really just hampers all of the interesting things that you could have all right well that was a that was a mess um sorry about that <laughs> but if for some reason you enjoyed me losing my mind please do comment like and subscribe the mod's probably worth checking out maybe don't do the tree that i did and just don't do non-historical ai i think this would have been much easier without non-historical ai and it was partly my own doing too. I admit I was wrong to try and take on Germany, France, and the UK at the same time. That was a bad choice. <laughs> but take care, everyone. I'll be back soon with more videos. Ta da! <laughs> Many thanks to Turquoise Zom, Onion Duck, Stuka J, Sean Zoltek, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Trochu, D Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Ryan Nelson, Valhalla Halls, Vash, and Warren P. George for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!